Here's how it goes. And again, it's going to get noisy in, in, in a little bit here. You Say you've read the whole Bible, front to back, and uh, so you, you get a, a pretty good general idea of what it's all about. And uh, now... Now, I'm going on the legalistic way of doing this, and nobody ought to do it this way, because you, you, you need three full lifetimes to, to read it. And I'm dead serious, three full lifetimes to read it the way I'm about to teach you. So there's a, but nevertheless, legalistically, all right? Not realistically, regal, legalistically. You read the Bible back to front. Then you open the book, and you read the first book again. Then you read the first chapter of the first book. Then you read the first verse of the f this first book. Then you read the first line. Then you read the first word. And uh, the principles are identical. This is what you're going to be taught. How to read an area of the scriptures that truly interest you that you want to know more about to find out if you've learned it all or not or been misled or are yourself teaching incorrectly and uh, so I, I'm, I'm going to try to pick something close to random here um, oh yeah oh there you go receiving the spirit by faith is the title on this one it is uh, Galatians chapter 3 and uh, so I'm going to read the whole chapter t to you the first the first uh, uh, section I believe this is of chapter 3 um, O foolish Galatians who has bewitched you before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified let me ask you only this did you receive the Spirit by works of the way of the law, or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if it really is in vain? Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by works of the law or by hearing with faith? All right, now I've just read uh, uh, from uh, Galatians, the third uh, chapter, and uh, from 1 to 5. And say there's something, maybe the whole thing, but uh, just for the sake of it, say there's something in that that you're really interested in. Let's say it's, it's this. Um, let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? That what is what really is interesting. Your piece you want to find out deeper about. You go to your favorite verse, in, in this case I'm pretending this is it, and you, you read it, and then you read it aloud. And then you go above that verse and below that verse. What this is bracketing the verse that you're after to make sure you're not pulling it out of context. So like, uh, did you receive the Spirit by works of the law, blah, blah, blah. So you go, oh foolish Galatians, and you read right down to that, and you read that, and then go beyond it. And this is such a short section that I would. I'd read above and below all of that from 1 to 5. And you read this aloud. This is an audible thing now. You've already read it silently. Now read it aloud. Now, did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? This is what you're after, and you want to know what the Creator meant exactly by that. What you do is you read that line aloud. You're going to go back to the first word of li that line, did, and you're going to shout it. You're going to shout it so strongly, it's it's like you're a shell, a, a military artillery shell, but has no propellant behind the shell. And you are the propellant. So you're going to have to push hard with your voice to shove this thing up and out the barrel 
and land and blow up at a distance from you. So, I am about to shout. I'm going to give you the count of four to get backed away from the speaker. Don't turn it down. Don't don't you dare turn it down. All right? You just leave it where you got it, where you're comfortable hearing it. Now, I'm going to shout the first word, and I will end up reading aloud on down to the end of the line, or maybe just half of it. Then I'm going to come back, read normal aloud the first word, shout the second, go back to normal reading aloud on down to the end of the line or whatever. Then I'm going to go back and do it on the third word. Then I'm going to go back on the fourth and on and on and on until I've hit the last word in a shouting manner. Then I am going to go back and double shout. I will shout the first two words and then read normal audibly to the end of the line. Then I go back and start like I'm shouting the, the, the next set of two words. Uh, the first set is, did you? All right, then the next set would be, receive the Spirit. So you would be shouting, did you receive the Spirit? A lot like that. And when you get that all double shouted, then you go back triplet, then you go back fourth and fifth and sixth and whatever, until the whole line is totally shouted out. And when I say shout, you better believe I'm not talking only some little oomph push. You're, you're, you cannot be weaklings here. So, are you ready? I am going to shout. I'm going to give you the count of five to turn around and get to the other side of the room. One, two, three, four, five. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law? Now, stay there. Did you? That wasn't a good shout. The bomb didn't blow up. That shell didn't land on its nose and blow. It slid in. So, did you? No one else. You. Did you? In that shout. Receive the Spirit by the works of the law. Did you receive? That didn't hit. Did you receive? No. Did you Receive! There you go. That one hit. The Spirit by the works of the law. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law? And on and on and on. And then you go back and double it. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law? Did you receive the? And it, it almost is, is almost highly Pentecostal. But I tell you, when you push hard enough with your own energy out of your chest and across your lungs and through in the, the roof of the mouth and the tongue and do it hard enough it's as if you and, and if it doesn't happen then you haven't done it right it's as if the shell has been pushed out and depending on how hard it's been pushed out it's either gone bleh, right out of the barrel up at the tip and just kind of bent over and dropped down, or boom, it's gone out a few feet, or boom, it goes out a mile, but it doesn't come down on its head where the, the firing pin is, or it will blow up. And that's what you're looking for, shoving that shell so hard that it comes out, rises perfectly, and comes down exactly the way it's meant to be on the nose and when it blows up every single word with an occasional exception of the T-H-E or T-H-E-E -E, depending what uh, Bible you're reading from and A the letter A a dog ran across the road that type of A those are the only two exceptions that do not blow up all the time it's really rare when they do but the others will and you will find out that this thing called the living word, it doesn't say the living words with an S. It is the living word. One word done this way and in this manner and push properly will blow up and give you not only the, the general meaning that you already am aware of, but even further beyond that. This is power reading. So always bracket the verse that you're after or the, the words that you're after. Make sure you're not pulling them out of context. 